Hello, I'm Rebecca Miller, and in this video, we'll be looking at how human-induced extinction has contributed to the current biodiversity crisis. As we've seen in previous videos, we live in a world full of marvels. However, the world is facing a biodiversity crisis of epic proportions. Over the past 50 years, humans have changed the world's ecosystems more rapidly and extensively than ever before. The rate of species loss is greater now than at any time in human history. If that seems alarming, it is. But as we'll see, it's not too late to make a difference. The diversity of life on Earth at any given time depends on how fast new species evolve and how fast existing species go extinct. Extinction is the complete disappearance of a species from the planet, and it is forever. Did you know that in the past 500 years, nearly a thousand species have been recorded extinct? That doesn't include the thousands of species that disappear under the radar, many of them before we even know they exist. The majority of extinctions are invisible, yet each one removes a brick from the ecological foundations of the planet. Eventually, entire ecosystems begin to unravel. The evolution of new species and the extinction of others is a natural process. So you may wonder, why is the current wave of extinctions and massive ecological change a problem? The problem lies in the rate of change. Extinction may be natural, but species today are vanishing at an unnaturally rapid rate. The Earth's systems are usually fairly stable over long periods of time and normal background extinction rates are very low. But when rapid changes occur, life forms have a hard time keeping up and extinction rates increase. The current extinction rate is up to a thousand times more than historical rates seen in the fossil record, and projected future rates are even higher. In fact, species are going extinct much faster than new species can evolve. We are now approaching what many scientists believe to be the sixth mass extinction event. Although very rare, the Earth has seen mass extinction five times before, when the diversity and abundance of life suddenly plummeted. In each mass extinction event, more than 70% of all species on Earth disappeared. Once a mass extinction event occurs, it takes millions of years for the Earth to recover. Extinction rates are once again accelerating, this time as a result of human activities that are altering the planet in dramatic ways. No one factor is causing modern day extinctions. It is the combination of multiple threats, including habitat loss, overexploitation, invasive species, disease, climate change, and more, that is threatening ecosystems and driving species to the brink. Species are disappearing from every group and every region. There are still many gaps to fill, but even just a sample shows the scale of the crisis. More than half of ancient cycad plants and more than a quarter of amphibians, reef-building corals, conifers, mammals, and birds are threatened with extinction, while we have no real idea about the status of most plants, fungi, or invertebrates. Things like insects, starfish, clams, and giant squid. Declines have been far greater in tropical and freshwater systems, and species that are less mobile and have small ranges tend to be more at risk. The St. Helena olive, a small tree found only on St. Helena Island, was felled to extinction for timber and to make way for plantations. The last wild tree died in 1994, and, despite conservation efforts, the only plant in cultivation died in 2003. Island species tend to be at high risk. You may know of the dodo, a large flightless bird discovered on Mauritius in 1598. With no natural fear of predators, it was hunted by sailors and its eggs were eaten by introduced dogs, pigs, cats, and other animals. Within a century of its discovery, it had vanished. Some species are extinct in the wild, but still survive in cultivation, in captivity, or well outside their natural range. 
The last two wild individuals of the Hawaiian crow were seen in 2002. But habitat destruction, disease, and predation by introduced mammals have since driven it extinct in the wild. It is now only found in captivity. Species may also go functionally extinct when their numbers get so low that they can no longer play an effective role in the ecosystem or maintain viable populations. The Baiji, or Yangtze River dolphin, is possibly extinct due to an impressive list of threats from habitat loss and degradation to entanglement in fishing gear to pollution. Searchers have failed to find it in the wild and any few remaining individuals can only prolong its inevitable extinction. Recognizing the impact of local extinctions is important, as local declines lead to global extinction and also represent a loss of biodiversity. Loss of the iconic western black rhinoceros to illegal poaching for rhino horn meant the local extinction of black rhinoceros in West Africa and the disappearance of an entire subspecies with all the genetic diversity it contains. You may find all this depressing, but the good news is that biodiversity loss doesn't have to be inevitable. Active conservation delivers results, benefiting both species and ecosystems, and directly saving some species from the brink of extinction. It's not too late to make a monumental difference in minimizing biodiversity losses by changing our impact on the planet. As Sir Peter Scott once said, we shall not save everything, but we shall save a great deal more than if we never tried. Now, join the forum and tell us about an interesting species that has gone extinct in recent history. In the next lesson, we will explore some of the main threats to biodiversity and the Earth's ecological systems.